Thursday Morning Marketing Podcast is brought to you by Esther of IPA Group, bringing premier online promotion to your business. And Melanie of Stump Social Media Training, who empowers business owners to manage social media and marketing for themselves. And welcome back to another episode of the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. Today, we're telling you to go where your audience is. Now, this might seem a little obvious, but... You think? With the way things have been, with the way things have been going recently in some social media platforms, we shall not name any <coughs> ex names. Um, but people have been jumping ship. They have been figuring out other platforms that they may want to use instead mm. of some more established ones. So, like we told you in other episodes, there are thousands of social media platforms that come out every year. But there are some that make it and some that don't. So where have you heard, Melanie, recently that people are moving to? Oh, I guess what I've been using myself recently is Blue Sky. Um, and it's it's just like a, an old-fashioned Twitter uh, even down to the fact that you have only 140 characters, which is quite annoying. Um, <laughs> um, but we used to love that about we? original Twitter. <laughs> um, but do you know what? It doesn't really matter where you're moving to. I mean, we we know that Andrew and Pete, for instance, of Atomic fame, they decided to move off one platform and move entirely onto another one for a whole year. Do you remember that exercise they did? And they just no, tried it. Was they, that before? They, they, did that, they, they just went onto Instagram, just did everything Instagram fully for a whole year. And it was an excellent exercise to see how much they could build up traction and gain and they got a huge amount of um you know people up on their emails and and everything else and membership their membership really increased as well because at the time instagram was the platform to be on and they were doing reels and they were doing shorts and they were doing stories and you know they were just doing lots of um posts on a regular basis so If you can establish where your audience is mostly gaining traction, that's down to the fact that you're looking at your analytics and maybe, just maybe, you can actually pull your audience to that platform as well. So even just telling them you're going to be moving from Facebook to to such and such. um, Sometimes it's also down to the fact that you've changed tangent as well. You've changed... Uh, your model your business model in general or, or you've looked at your SWOT and you've established that this particular product or service is doing so much better on that platform let's try it there for a while yeah so yeah all of the all of the above I fully agree with you have the moving your audience with you factor which could be risky if you have a big audience mm. so for example um on twitter there used to be a lot of twitter chats which were in the stream in the feed um using a certain hashtag depending on what chapter what are you were you were talking in there used to be belfast r which is non-existent and was running for years and years um and twitter smarter and chat about brand and usa biz party all of these ones that have had to go oh hang on a minute, it is now getting more difficult, even with a hashtag, to be seen on Twitter X, whatever it's called. Um, So what should we do? Should we move our entire audience to another platform? And then the audience starts going, I don't have any other platform. I only work on this one. And then you've other people going, well, I'm on every single platform, so I don't mind where you go. And then you're trying to figure out if there's a way to have a the same sort of method as it used to be with it being in the stream and answering questions and people, you know, the, the questions popping up in live in real time and everything. And no other platform has that functionality just yet. So there are ones at Christine Gritman, who's also been on the podcast, um, did an experiment a couple of weeks ago saying that she, she did on, she was on threads. She isn't available in the EU. And she was on LinkedIn. 
And every day she posted a question that she would have usually posted on Chat About Brand in X Twitter, Twitter X, whatever, Twix, whatever you're calling it. Um, and she ran this experiment for the full week to see if her audience had moved or would move or could, you know, were, if it was going to be viable to do this on another platform. Hmm. And uh, I, go and take a look at her results. They're quite interesting. I'll let you do that one in yourself. There's a bit of homework for you. Just check out Christine Gritman. She posted the, the results on her LinkedIn. So it is available for everyone to go and see. Um, on um, For those that are listening to us in the EU that aren't lucky enough to have threads, which is just Twitter made by Facebook, basically. And Blue Sky is made by the original guys of Twitter. So it's all like... I do sometimes wonder about all these new platforms that are trying to copy the old platforms. Why don't the old platforms just go back to what was working? Well, I think personally that some of them, not, I'm not speaking about all of them here, but some of them either want to lead a trend or have listened to their audience. I'm not adverse to changing things up. Um, I think people get complacent and they stop seeing certain posts or they like we discussed in a previous episode recently people assume they know what that person or that business does and they're wrong (laughs) they're they're just wrong (laughs) so sometimes you just need to change it up because people get complacent yeah and again guys remember and we say this most of the time when we're talking about changing platforms or looking at other platforms, you do not need to be on every single platform, which is why the title of this is go where your audience is. (laughs) You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to go somewhere and rebuild an entire audience. Um, For example, threads, if you're, you know, if you have it, uh, it automatically pulls over your followers from Instagram. So you already start with a follower base there. Um, Blue Sky, a lot of people are joining it um, if and when you can um, with a code to um, because they're you know reminiscing about old Twitter and the days of 140 characters <laughs> and no gifs. Um, but you know things like that. You can try them for a while. See if your audience is also moving. Do a questionnaire, do a poll on your other platforms and ask people where they're hanging out most because it might surprise you completely. You know, I hang out on, on TikTok just for watching videos and information purposes. I do not want to be sold to on TikTok. Hello. There were a lot of times recently where TikTok made me buy it has come up in conversation. But it wasn't because of ads that I saw on TikTok. It was because of people talking about what they were using, not in a promotional ad way, Mm. but just showing how the thing worked. Um, I use Facebook for keeping in touch with friends and family, but I don't want to be sold to. You know, you have to think these things through as to where people want to connect with you. Because if they're only using some platforms for being talking to friends and family, remembering family's birthdays, for example, Facebook's great at that one, um, then that's where they will be for that. So be very specific in the questions that you ask your audience as to where they hang out. Yeah, I mean, I think there are places where people view and other places where people do as well. Uh, You know, unfortunately, a lot of our generation... Um, are more viewers on places like TikTok than doers. And you've got the same on every platform. You know, there are people who stalk and there are people who walk on platforms. And so you've got to try and pick the platforms where you're going to actually get engagement and not just reach and impressions. Um, And that is probably down to a bit of actual market research and, you know, actual a b testing even i'll go as far as saying actual a b testing so yeah don't make your decisions short-sightedly this is something you're going to have to work on i think the um andrew and pete said they were going to trial it for three months and when they saw how successful it was they did it for the whole year so this isn't something you can just 
decide on and try for a month it's something yeah, you've really week, no it's not. it's got it's got to be a good dose of time because let's face it how you can, everybody can be consistent for a week you know we yeah. can all be consistent yeah. for a week on our business on our social channels but can you actually be consistent from weeks and weeks months even yeah yeah especially when you're adding in all the videos and reels and stories and you know all the different aspects of each of the platforms because they all have the audio function or they have the video function and you know everything using every single aspect of the platform that you're going to focus on would be highly beneficial Hmm. in your trial period but check your analytics do your research before check them during Mm -hmm and check them after because you could be pleasantly surprised or unpleasantly surprised by what you see um, versus what you thought was going to happen. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. You know, people, people are a fickle lot. We could really surprise you by doing something completely out of the box. (laughs) We'd love to hear how you get on with this. Do get in touch with us. There is a Q&A section on our podcast that you can send us a little message. You can um, catch us on most of the social platforms. We'll soon be up and running as the, as the podcast on Blue Sky as well, if you're there. Um, I'm sure we'll get threads set up by me, not by Melanie, because she can't, uh, <laughs> eventually. So, yeah, do join us. Do give us a shout out and tell us where you're listening to us from what platform you're using to listen to us and where you see our posts because we're always interested to know all this information uh that's it for another guy what (laughs) that's it for another day guys if i could speak it's been a long monday already it's the mondayest monday there ever has been amen in the latest bunch of mondays (laughs) we're almost at the end of 2023 and deep breath let's do that outro again that's it for another day guys oh yeah maybe maybe got it right that time the editor's gonna love me today (laughs) that's it for today we'll be back next week with more Monday Morning Marketing until then bye bye do you know what you do the intro I'll do the outro from now on okay (laughs) sound like a plan plan yikes (laughs) let's do it bye for now